What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Red 89 here, bringing you episode one of the new series I wanted to start on this channel, and it's going to be directors I love, movies I hate, and this might not necessarily always be a movie I completely dislike or hate, it, but could, like I could actually have a positive rating for some of these films, but compared to the rest of the catalog for that director I love, it's usually, it's the bottom film, you know what I mean? But there actually might be some on this, on this list that we go through that are going to be films that I actually hate. And I wanted to probably do maybe one a month, so we're going to try to tackle 12 directors this year over 2023. So we're starting in January this month, and then like I said, every month I might try to do an, one episode of this series. And we're going to start off with a banger right here. We're going to start off with Quentin Tarantino, and this film's from 2015. I'm going to give you a chance to maybe guess the film while we get through this intro, so be sure to stay tuned and like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an episode or any other kind of stuff that'll be dropping. Let's do this. Roll it. So this Quentin Tarantino film is from 2015. Were you guys able to guess it? It's The Hateful Eight. And yes, this film is one, the only film, like his whole entire catalog, I love Quentin. He's a director that I completely adore. So like I said, we're not to knock him at all. You know, I mean, we love you, dude. I love you so much, Quentin. He's given us lots and lots of awesome films. But this is the one miss for me, and it's The Hateful Eight. And for me... This is just the one film of his that's never grabbed me and like I've only watched, I've watched this film three times so I've given it multiple shots but after even that third watch I was just like ah, I just never wanted to go back to this film. So today we're going to talk about my feelings on this film, why I kind of not into this film, why I dislike this film in terms of a rating. Which we're going to start off with the rating right away in these kind of videos that way you know where I'm coming from and then we're going to kind of digest and dissect the film so you know why I feel that way. And in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this film a 5 out of 10. And I know some people out there, you're freaking out. You're going crazy. Quentin fanatics are like, what's wrong with you? You can't be like, even my even my wife, she, she fancies this film. It's not one of her favorite Quentin Tarantino films, but she actually does fancy this film. She likes it. So like I said, today we're going to talk about my feelings on it. So stay tuned. Now let's get this on I'm talking about The Hateful Eight, Quentin Tarantino's 2015 film. And Right to start off with it, let's get into the negatives. Just the things I dislike about this film as to why it doesn't speak to me. And there's mainly three bugaboos with this film. And my main one, I would say, is that it's a Western. I'm not keen to Westerns. That's my least favorite genre in films and stuff like that. So I don't really gravitate towards Westerns. So that's one knock against this film is that it's a western i do like django unchained so like i like what he did with django that's a spaghetti western you know style type film and i love what he did with that one but this one i'm not on board with my second big bugaboo is i actually think the script in this film is pretty awful like i hate the script in this film like i think it's one of his weakest ones in terms of scripts when i think of this one I feel like this is when Quentin had like his head, a little, you know, your head got a little too big for you, Quentin, you know, he's like a little too self-indulgent with this film in terms of the script, the dialogue. There's a lot of wordy, heavy dialogue sequences and monologues, and I think it's more on the side of boring than it is, you know, stylish, like the typical Quentin Tarantino stuff like we get with Reservoir Dogs or Pulp Fiction. And your third big bugaboo with this film, or my big bugaboo with this film, is going to be the characters. I just don't find a fancy or like like any of the characters in this film. And for me, when it comes to a Quentin Tarantino film, I know he writes a lot of films where there's kind of gray characters. It's not necessarily like a good or bad. There are very bad and very good characters in this film sometimes, and very innocent characters. But there's also a lot of gray characters. And this film is filled with like a lot of those types of characters. And I just don't think any of them land that well. I don't find a fancy in any of them. And there's a great cast in here. We got Samuel Jackson, Jennifer Jason Lee, you know, you Kurt Russell. We got Shannon Tatum, Michael Madsen, Tim Roth. Like there's a crazy cast in this film. So it's like I, I expect it to be amazing. And I'm like, oh, OK, which character I'm going to like, which kind of quippy, you know, one-liners who's going to be that one that has that cool kind of style to them and 
yeah, all the characters in this film I just very much dislike pretty much. Like, even, like, the old, you know, Civil War, like, general guy. Like, you know, none of them. None of the characters in this film, like, pull me in and make me interested. Or I'm like, oh, I care about you. So I'm watching this film. And I know the whole point of it eventually comes to when you get to that third act. We're going to spoil it. Of course, spoilers. We're talking about this film. It's from 2015. And when you get to that third act, it becomes much more a film of you just waiting for the chaos to go off. You're waiting for everybody to kind of destroy each other. And a lot of people that have come to me and they're like defense of this movie of like, oh, you know, why don't you like this movie? You know, Robert, why don't you like this film? You like John Carpenter's The Thing. You should love this film. It's like John Carpenter's The Thing in like a Western like bar setting, you know, Quentin Tarantino style, like no, man, like, if that's your defense for this film, your defense is that it's a, basically a copycat of a better film, and John Carpenter's The Thing is a better film, so it's like, I just don't see that, like, I don't see that analogy, and, like, that doesn't make me understand why this film's amazing, but I've gotten multiple people have told me that, that it's like, oh, that's their feeling on it, or their take on the film, and what they got away from it, and I'm like, nah, I didn't get that, like, see that at all. And like I said, character-wise, all that stuff. In terms of stuff that I do like about this film, one positive I must say about this film is it is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous-looking film, cinematography-wise, and the shots. And I can't remember if this was shot in 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter, but it was shot like you know, one of those. And you can tell, like, and the style and the cinematography is there. And that's probably my favorite thing about the film is it does look very cool but nothing else about this film grabs me. It's much more a style over substance film and the substance is highly lacking in this movie. And I'm not used to that. When I go to Quentin Tarantino movies like Reservoir Dogs or Kill Bill or Pulp Fiction, it's like the style marries with the substance and it's so amazing and it transforms and it brings to life such an amazing piece of cinema. And that's not how I feel when I watch The Hate For It. And that's what sucks. When you're a director like Quentin and you have these kind of a film like this and I'm talking about it it's like I sound like I'm very negative I kind of am very negative on this film like I said I gave it a 5 out of 10 compared to his other films this is my bottom film for him this is the only film that I would have really a lot of negative things to say about it like every other film Quentin Tarantino has done is like a 7 to 10 out of 10 film for me so this is the only one so it's just it sucks when you have a director like that because he's had so many hits and he's had so many films that are like amazing and they hit that upper echelon style of cinema that when you have a film like this and people like, you know, or a film that people dislike, like Death Proof, like some people dislike Death Proof. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with that film. I really don't. Or he did Four Rooms. He did a movie called Four Rooms that he had a hand in writing the screenplay in some parts in, and also Sin City. So... I would wretch much rather, me as a fan, I would much rather as a Quentin fan go to those films before I return to this film. Like I said, I've seen this film three times and I've watched the, the very long version. There's like an unrated version of this film that's like I think over three hours. And yeah, it's just, it's not for me. It's a film that's, it's too long. It pushes, like I said, Quentin Tarantino for me in terms of this film. It pushes that self-indulgence where I'm like, oh, I don't, you know, this is the film where I'm like, his head got a little too big for him. The characters I don't like. And it's just, like I said, the terms of it being a Western, that greatly bogs this film down for me. So there's just this combination of elements in this film and things that happen in it that it's just like, you know, what it is, all those things I just explained, you know, coming together that make me not like this film. Because Django Unchained I like, but there's the characters I can grab onto. I like Christoph Waltz. I like Jamie Foxx's character. I like the style and I like the music in that one, all that kind of stuff. And it's more spaghetti Western, like kind of hero status, like which calls back to a lot of, you know, Japanese fight films that I used to watch as well. So it's like in Chinese fight films, martial arts films, they kind of mirror each other in that way with the spaghetti westerns. But yeah, this one, I didn't like this one that much at all. So Hateful Eight is the one film, like I said, I wanted to bring up and talk about for Quentin Tarantino. Like I said, this is a big director in the game, but this is not to knock him. Like I said, he's got a fabulous, fabulous career that he's had out there. And like I said, I would love to hear from all of you 
in the comments section because these are just my thoughts on the hateful eight and my opinions and i know there are a lot of defenders out there so maybe there's somebody else out there who could defend this film who could bring up some stuff that i haven't heard on defenses and maybe make me see another side of this film and i maybe return to it again but in terms of films like i said yeah i've watched all his other films double digit times and this is the only film of his that i'm like nah i just Nah, I don't, I don't grab onto this one. And also, like I said, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video because pretty soon we're going to be posting some other videos, some other rad movie reviews. I got some other Cobra Kai content coming. So yes, it's an exciting time and it's a new year. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.